हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल और वेबसाइट डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम टू चेक योर स्टैनो स्क्रिप्ट वन बाय वन फॉर ईच एरर यूज आवर वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डॉट स्टैनो फॉर ऑल डॉट कॉम विद ऑटो चेकिंग फैसिलिटी और मच मोर ऑल कैंडिडेट्स आर रेडी टू राइट एट ए स्पीड ऑफ वन फोर्टी वर्ड्स पर मिनट This is our seventh dictation. All are ready to write, gasping for breath. That is how our investigating agencies leave our citizens and now the press. Two recent cases clearly demonstrate that our investigating agencies are a face without a heart. On September 10, 2021, officers of the Income Tax Department visited the premises of News Click and News Laundry. According to the Editors Guild of India, News Click and News Laundry are news websites. The visit by the officers was styled as a survey and this was confirmed by the department to a private news channel. A survey by officers of the IT department is governed by Section 133A of the Income Tax Act. Section 133A authorizes an income tax authority to enter premises where a business or profession is carried on. The purpose of entry is limited and specific to inspecting book of account or documents. check or verify the cash stock or other valuable article or thing which may be found in the premises and furnish such information that the authority may require a survey is not a fishing expedition a survey can be carried out only during the time the premises are open for conduct of business or profession A statement released by News Laundry indicates that the officers came to its premises at about 12:15 p.m. and left the next day at 12:40 a.m. Similarly, a statement released by News Click suggests that the officers came at about noon and left around midnight. The first question are the premises of these news websites usually open for business at midnight with the same staff If not, the officers violated the law in continuing the survey till the witching hour without any compunction. Some side issues also arise. For example, what do the officers do for lunch, dinner, and snacks when a survey takes place for twelve hours? Do they carry their tiffin boxes and water bottles? What about the people in the premises? Can they go out for a bite, or are they expected to remain hungry? can they even inform their family that they have been locked up for several hours and cannot come home section 133a author- authorizes the officers to inspect the books of account place identification marks on them and on other documents and even mark copies they may impound the books of account or other documents inspected by them for reasons to be recorded in writing they are also entitled to make an inventory of the cash stock or other valuable articles verified by the officers finally they are authorized to record the statement of any person in the surveyed premises though not an oath the odisha high court has taken the view that the primary objective of a survey is to inspect and if impounding is necessary specific reasons must be recorded the reasons must be recorded at the time of impounding and not even a day later otherwise the impounding would be bad in law section 133a contains a specific prohibition that the officer shall on no account remove or cause to be removed from the place any cash stock or other valuable article or thing how much more prohibitory can it get the legal lakshman rekha have been delineated what is it that transpired during the survey on september 10 2021 The version of the IT department is not in the public domain so it is not known and perhaps might never be known in its statement news laundry informs us that its ceo was not allowed to use his phone to contact his lawyer in fact he was asked to hand over his phone to the officers 
he was asked to comply with on the spot directions without taking legal advice even a criminal is entitled to contact his or her lawyer and family second question under what authority of law was the ceo asked to hand over his phone and refrain from contacting over his lawyer books of account may be impounded but prohibiting use of a mobile phone even temporarily the personal mobile phone laptop and office machines were are taken control of and the data on them or in them was downloaded ordinarily a search warrant is required for this apart from anything else this is a classic case of invasion of the fundamental right of privacy the ceo was not given a copy of the downloaded data which is his property and he is entitled to it as of right on the contrary he was asked to delete his personal data from his mobile phone within 1 hour so that they could take it away third question why should he delete his personal data the ip department has accepted before the delhi high court that it has seized material and it is in safe custody under which law is not explained fourth question are officers of the it department entitled to violate the law with impunity and without any accountability the sequence of events clearly suggest that the staff of news laundry was subjected to some sort of a house arrest or office arrest cut off from the world for 12 hours and denied their constitutionally guaranteed fundamental rights is this permissible the fate suffered by news click is no better news click issued a statement to the effect that 30 employees and support staff were locked up for the duration of the survey that is for 12 hours and their phone seized If any family member had faced an emergency during those 12 hours bad luck to make matter worse they were prevented from accessing the computers and indeed from working why and under which law it seems quite clear that the employees and staff underwent office arrest something akin to house arrest fifth question are the fundamental rights of speech freedom of the press and privacy suspended during a survey of books of account by the it department surely our fundamental rights are not that meaningless the phone of the editor in chief was also impounded containing private personal and confidential data it appears that the fundamental right to privacy is still born in respect of some people particularly journalist he may have received information from a source that he does not desire to disclose in law he cannot be compelled to disclose the source being privileged information but a well planned survey can achieve that purpose journalist beware or don't care the choice is yours loose papers were taken away from the survey premises it appears that no list was prepared of these papers and no copy of the loose papers supplied to the employees concerned email dumps were taken of the editor in chief and the editor sixth question was the survey a fade for some other purpose nobody will know until the next raid So many questions arise from these two surveys and they provide obvious answers but nobody cares the issue is not what news laundry and news click have done or not done in terms of adhering to and complying with the law the issue is whether there is a rule of law prevailing and how easy it is for the authorities to harass citizens if they want to The other issue is that government officers can get away with just about any abuse of their powers including unlawful house or office arrest and this is becoming the norm rather than exception there is no longer any respect for the citizens rights including journalist only a single minded assertion of unaccountable authority one last question are the authorities accountable for their actions at any point or should journalists resign themselves to defenselessly watch the erosion of their rights harassed journalists and vulnerable targets may seek the path of least resistance after all they have families to feed 
they did not set out to be test cases for democratic resilience constitutional offices on the other hand have a duty to not look away have officers forgotten the citizens of india journalist included deserve human treatment under the law or is it that they do not have a heart prime minister narendra modi summit meeting with us president joe biden and his first in person meet of the quadrilateral security dialogue mark an important step forward in india's engagement with major global power as it seeks to revive its economy and strategic role in the aftermath of the covid-19 crisis at the heart of the two leaders meeting was the issue of vaccine availability and a critical victory for the biden administration as it received mr modi's assurance that as the world's largest vaccine manufacturer india would resume supplies to the global covax pool under its vaccine maitri program